I am here with Wendy Hamilton from Girl Scouts Spirit of Nebraska. Wendy is the Chief Development Officer. Wendy, thank you for joining me today. Thank you for having me. All right, so we've got the big art venture coming up. Yep. Um, I love this event. And how many years is this event? So this is our Sweet 16. So is it really? 16th okay. anniversary, yep. Well, I mean, I've been doing this for 30 years, so I, I feel like I actually remember when this, this whole thing started because yeah. it, it's grown considerably right, over right. the years. It started with about 30 Girl Scout participants and just a handful of area professional artists, and we're now up to um, almost 800 Girl Scouts in the Omaha area. Um, <gasps> with about 50 uh, participating artists who okay. work with the girls, 80 overall artists that participate in the show. So yeah, it's really grown. It's something that uh, I think has become sort of a beloved event for a lot yep. of people. It's different, it's a different kind of event. It ends early enough that you can still go out and do something else if you want, yeah. or if you're like me and you don't mind an event that ends early <laughs> and you can go home and, and relax and still yeah. feel like you were part of something. So. Yeah, because the thing, I mean, like years ago, I mean, did it start at Hot Shops? It did. Okay, yep. So that's what I remember. But also I remember back then um, when we were doing some different articles, it's just, I love how it just brings in the girls mm -hmm. um, and brings them also connecting to culture and right. art right. and all that good stuff. And these artists, it's, it's it's so unique. Yeah, we are pretty proud of the mission uh, component of the event. So it's actually both a program and a fundraiser. Yeah. So the first part is um, about three months of small groups of Girl Scouts being matched with professional artists. Yeah. And they yes. work together yeah. to create collaborative artwork. Yeah. And then the second part is the, the big fundraising event. And so the girls are learning uh, a new skill, a new trade. They get career exploration by seeing how an artist actually does their job. They learn about philanthropy because they know that yeah. their artwork is going to go into the fundraiser that will benefit, you know, come back to benefit other girls. They learn, of course, teamwork and creative problem solving and all those buzzwords that I love to yeah. tell people. Um, but they also learn fun and friendship and, and the freedom of expressing themselves yes. through hopefully some type of art that they've, or art media that they haven't maybe had a chance to do yeah. before. So what are some of the programs that this event raises funds for? Yeah, so Art Venture uh, fundraises for all of our pro uh, council-sponsored programs across the okay. state. So this is different from if you have a troop or a special camping event. These are the programs that our council hosts. Okay. So we have programs, um, we have four major priority areas, which are STEM, life skills, entrepreneurship, and then outdoor experiences. Okay. So when our council hosts those events, these are the kinds of funds that help support those. Okay. So let's talk a little bit, um, because people, they can bid on the artwork. I mean, people right. take uh, artwork home right. from right. this event. Hopefully. So, All of it. Yeah, yeah. Bid high and bid often. Yeah. <laughs> um, can they do that before, or do they, you actually have to be at the event? Very good question. So we do have a preview party that is open for our sponsors and our VIPs, okay. um, and that uh, opens at six o'clock. So e even if you can't be there in person, if you're part of the VIP, you can get the link to start bidding, be a remote really? bidder. Okay. Otherwise, everything opens at seven o'clock, and uh, that's when the main event opens, and uh, those folks who can't be there in person can sign up to be a remote bidder okay. and they'll get a text message to their phone and it tells them just click here and you can start bidding. You don't have to create a username. There's no cost to be a remote bidder. Um, going on the online has really allowed us to expand the reach of the event, yeah. which is which is great because yeah. like we said, there's only so many Saturdays in Omaha and there's, there's always going to be other things going yeah. on, which is great, but this gives people a chance to yeah. still feel like they're part of it. So how many different actual pieces of art will be there. We are, our sweet spot is about 200, okay. bet, like between 150 and 200. And uh, about half of those are the collaborations made by girls okay. and artists. And the other half is artwork contributed by some of Omaha's most beloved and celebrated artists. Okay. So we've got the highest of the high, you know, professional, right. uh, high caliber artwork. And we've got price points of every level. We've got media of every kind. We've been so embraced by the artist community, which is, yeah. is just wonderful. Yeah. Um, what is it, what do you have to do to be a patron? 
For the preview party? Yeah, for the preview Well, party. I know you, so yeah. you're no. <laughs> so um, it either comes with a sponsorship of $500 okay. and above, or okay. we, we do have single tickets available for the preview party. Um, that's $125 okay. uh, per person. The main event, however, prices are totally a steal. It's $40 a oh person, or you can do two for 60. We call it a doubles discount. Yeah. Um, and for that $40, or if you do the two for 60, you get the most amazing hors d'oeuvres by Catering Creations. Yeah, love them. You get a, a host bar of beer, wine, and soda, and uh, plus the opportunity to just be part of this really unique special yeah. event. Yeah, and it's fun. So it's at Mammal Hall? Right. Okay. Back at Mammal. On the, mm -hmm. on the ONO campus. Mm -hmm. um, and again, it's it's just it's a great fun evening, and it's come and go too. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. so preview starts at six. Main general event starts at seven. At seven, yep. and everything's then, done by ten. Yeah, and uh, hopefully we've sold all the artwork, and we have very little cleanup to do. And, yeah. Um, you know, folks, if there is anything that is unsold, we also have a last chance art sale, and so um, people can sign up to be a part of that. Okay, because I was going to ask you that. Yeah. So, okay, <laughs> I did not know that. Yeah, but you can, but you can actually walk out of there right. with a piece right. of art in your hand. And we actually hope that that people do. If they've yeah. been on artwork and they've won it, we kind of want them to take it home. Uh, we joke that our side gig is that we're art movers, but we really don't want to yeah, be art movers. Yeah. We really want you to go yeah. ahead and take it with you. Yeah. <laughs> so, twenty eighth Mammal Hall. Mm -hmm. um, where can people buy tickets? So the easiest way is to go to uh, the Girl Scout website, and then um, I believe all the information is, um, yep, is available. Yeah. So you would go to, to the Give page, and then that has a link right to the registration where you can either buy tickets or sign up as a remote bidder. You can also donate if you're not able to attend um, and want to support the event. Yeah. And um, if we can't attend, and we just want to support Girl Scouts mm -hmm. in general, again, go to the website because there's so many different ways to yeah, get involved. Yeah, ex exactly. You can go to the website and just give a, a donation there through the Give page. You can also, like I said, if you're signing up to be a remote bidder, there is one more ask that yeah. says, would you like to donate? I mean, obviously, we're going to ask you yeah. know, um, if you'd like to donate. Um, and we, you know, we are a nonprofit, and we are so yeah. grateful for everybody who supports us. So. I was a Girl Scout I when I was, I was a girl. I um, and this is a little bit off the, the cuff, and sure. we've got about a minute left, but has, how has Girl Scouts changed? Uh, over the years, I and that might this. be like a 20 minute No, I love this question. Yeah. The, the quick bullet point answer to that is, we were founded in 1912, and the reason that wow. we are still around is because we grow and adapt as the girls grow. And we yeah. stay relevant to what they're interested in because one of our core values is that our programming is girl-led. I can sit here all day and tell you what I think girls are interested in and what I think is cool, but if we do not ask the girls and ask yeah. them to be an active part of that, we're doing them a disservice. So I love that. That's the biggest way I think that we've changed, and all of our, you know, of course, going digital and the way we do volunteer training and the way we do cookie distribution. Yeah. And I mean, all of everything's. We are growing and adapting with with our clients, with yeah. our girls and volunteers. Um, what, at what age can you become a Girl Scout? At five, kindergarten age or five, okay. and that's a Daisy Girl Scout, and they go all the way through twelfth grade in high school. A lot of people don't realize that we have a really vibrant high school Girl Scout yeah. community. Wonderful leadership programs, scholarship opportunities, job shadow um, experiences, and yeah, it's pretty yeah. great. Awesome. I sort of love my job, so yeah. <laughs> and you wear it very well. I'm very Girl Scouty. <laughs> wear it well. Thank all you. right. So last time, website is. GirlScoutsNebraska.org, Girl okay. Scouts, plural, yep. Nebraska, all spelled out, GirlScoutsNebraska.org. Okay, Wendy, thank you so much for joining me. My pleasure. And I look forward to seeing you at ArtVenture on the 20th of March. I know you'll be there. Yep. Thank you. Okay, all right. Thank you, and we will be right back.